Guys, welcome to the new last master video. This is part two of gaming on the SIS based Acer Aspire 3000, showing you the capabilities of a 2003 SIS Merge 2 760GX based laptop computer. So, I've already shown Grand Theft Auto 2 Unreal Tournament and Half Life. Next thing I'm going to show you is Counter-Strike 1.6 Then we'll be showing you Need for Speed 3 and Unreal Tournament 2003 Just showing you what the SIS graphics are capable of Running at 640 by 480 Just going to start a local server couldn't adjust the details. I think that's a bad thing. Well, I guess we've only got the settings for the colors. You've got medium or high, not low. Would have liked to seen low in this game, so I could put the resolution a bit up a bit. But for some reason, Counter Strike 1.6 seems better optimized than the original game Half Life. This game is just basically a mod for it. But that's a good thing because this game is played online way more than the original Half Life. This is one of those games that's nearly impossible to play with one hand. I take his. Sometimes it lags a little bit, but you know, I don't really mind. I mean, I was surprised I could get Unreal Tournament 2003 running. I never knew actually that it was. <laughs> Those lags clear up after about five minutes of gameplay. So it's not too bad. Next game, Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. This game is running at 640 by 480, totally maxed. This is one of my favorite racing games out there. But let's turn down the sound a bit. Now nah, I'm gonna leave it this way. I'm gonna show you the real Hot Pursuit stuff. Let me get my favorite car of all time, Lamborghini Countach. Yeah, I'm gonna put the sound down, anyway. Of course, I'm running in yellow. Yeah, that looks nice. I wanna drive against a Aston Martin DB7. Why not? This game is actually very playable with one hand. Let's see if we can get in a big cup chase, shall we? Get out of the way, you drunk bastard. Hey, yellow contest, that's me. Holy. Traffic! Great, now I'm being chased by a Chevrolet, Chevrolet Corvette. That's the biggest nightmare ever. Of course I'm going more than 100. That's a racing game, you turd. Yeah, I'm out running them. School bus! They're getting pretty pissed, I think. Oh dear. Yes, I'm gonna get ticketed. 
Oh god. Got ticketed already in my first lap. Yeah, no the rest of the rest of Martin. Pretty darn good. Right. Oh, oh I don't I wanna quit the system. Yes. I was also on a original copy of uh Need for Speed 3, but I've used an OCD crack because, um, well, the CD is upstairs and I don't want to put the CD in every time I play it. I do that with Grand Theft Auto 2, though, because otherwise I won't have the, got the good music. So, last game showing you, Auto Tournament 2003. I don't know why it, it's not full screen. Apply change. Yes, keep settings. I want 32 bit color. For some reason, I have to set this up every time I play. Let's just do an instant action. Capture the flag. Facing Worlds 3. Maybe these feed, these videos take long because I also include the loading screens. Right. Running in DirectX 8 mode. There we go. Big Kego L. What the hell am I jumping on? Oh, great. Elevator. Yay. Yeah, sometimes I have these little, these little lags. But just like in Counter Strike 1.6, these clear up after about five minutes of gameplay. Ouch! Right, that hurt. So this is basically um, the highest, highest spec game. This integrated graphic solution will take and gets over 30 frames a second right so we've just got stat FPS I've got low FPS because it has to render this whole map now but if you're sniping up here like I'm showing you now It's actually fine. Well, my aim is very bad with lightning gun. I prefer the classic sniper rifle. But that's only in Unreal Tournament 2004. Such a bummer. Well, I think you got to get download some add-ons for it. So it was part two. And uh, I hope you've uh, finally got an image about gaming on an SIS-based computer. So this was the SIS Mirage 2 M760 GX in the Asus Spire 3000 laptop, DirectX 8.1 Max, and I'll show you six games in these two parts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and also these videos, and uh, thank you for watching.